Peace, peace, love, and light, guys. What's going on? It's your girl, Crystal Dior, coming your way. You already know the black vegan roll. Peace, guys. What's going on? It is 2020. It's a new year, guys. And with this new year, it's a new year, new you. Time to make the changes that you've been putting off for months, for days, for weeks, for years. Please make this change for yourself your greater self, your higher self would thank you for it in the long run. So 2020, January 7th. So yesterday I decided to do a 24 hour dry fast. So for the first week of January, I've been basically trying to aim as far as what I can do to make changes within my spiritual journey. Now, I had a few days off and I could have did the dry fast when I was off, but instead I was being more so in a restless state, like trying to figure out what I was going to do um, with my business, um, like what moves I wanted to make in life in general. And like I was literally staying up way past midnight and like trying to like my sleeping patterns was off and I really took a look at myself and was like, I believe I need to do a dry fast to just get back in tune with my chi, get back in tune with my higher self and my spiritual self, and really stay still. So that's what I decided to do. I decided to do a 24-hour dry fast. Now, if you follow my channel, you know when I first started this vegan journey, I did a dry fast and that's when I was just really starting to get my feet wet and like the different types of fast that you could do um, for your body. And now since I've been a raw vegan for almost three years, um, I do a lot of different fasts. I do fruit cleanses, I do water fasts, I do um, technology fasts. I do a lot of different fasting and I really felt like I haven't did like a full 24 hour plus dry fast in a while. Now, the thing is, I do intermittent fast. Uh, excuse me. The thing is, I do intermittent dry fast daily. So, I do have some type of dry fasting within my life currently, but I haven't done like a full 24 hour plus dry fast in uh, a long time. I'll say over a year. So, I decided to do one today. So, let's talk about it. Okay. So, first, you want to know. What is dry fasting, Crystal? Like, I've heard about fasting, but what actually is dry fasting? So, dry fasting is when you don't eat nor drink anything at all. So, fasting, you could do all types of different fasts, whichever you choose to do. But with dry fasting, is when you don't eat any food and when you don't drink any liquids. For the duration of the time that you choose to fast. So for 24 hours, I haven't had anything to eat, nor have I had anything to drink. Now, why would you do a dry fast? Like, what is the benefits of like really fasting? Like, why would somebody actually purposely not eat or drink anything? Well, the benefits of a dry fast is actually very beautiful versus the spirituality within it as well as the health benefits it have for you so let's talk about it so the health benefits is, is grand it's great for your immune system you're giving your gi tract a break you're cleansing your blood you're cleansing your blood vessels as well you are also basically allowing the mucus lining to be cleansed. So like basically how when we eat certain things and it builds up mucus, you're actually allowing the lining of the mucoid lining to be cleansed, okay? You're eliminating parasites from your body as well. It is an overall health benefit. We have to go back to ancient times and think about the time before modern medicine. The time when our ancestors helped heal us. We look towards the animals to see what we would do. So what do animals do when they're sick? 
they fast. Animals don't eat or drink anything. They allow their body to heal on its own by allowing the tissues to be regenerated by fasting. The thing is, you won't really learn this in the book because the society we live in want you to turn to modern medicine to help put a band-aid over any ailments that you currently have. But when you fast, it really helps your body tenfold. Now the spiritual benefits of fasting is beautiful. It allows you to attune to your higher self. It gives you that much needed rest that your body might need. At this point of time, what you usually would do is you'll listen to your body. So you'll tune and tap into your body and say, body, please provide to me your needs. And whether your body tells you to rest and you sleep the majority of your fast or you lay down and you really just catch the energy that you've been basically exuding out to this world and you put it back within you and you regenerate that way. Or if your body tells you that you need to meditate, tap into your higher self and meditate. Ask the world, the most high, whatever it is that you believe in, your source for guidance, for protection, for love, for peace, for healing. Meditate for your higher self. Try to get in tune with your higher self. Ask to be shown your path, your way. You can also really, I mean, you don't really want to take this time to do the same things you do every day. If you like binge on TV shows, you know, um, I wouldn't recommend that because that defeats the purpose of really fasting. You know, you don't want to really watch TV. You can watch TV if you choose, but try to make it like an informative show, informative information that you're feeding yourselves, you're feeding your brain. Because you could do that any other day. But this is the time to be one with self. This is the time to fully heal thyself. So, some ways that you can break a dry fast. Because if you don't really fast often, you don't really want to go rush into getting like a heavy meal. Um, so, some ways that you could break your dry fast is you could break it with herbal tea. So I usually do my Iron Power Plus tea just because it's a high iron tea um, and it cleanses the blood. It keeps the fasting going. So it cleanses your blood. It provides you with high iron and minerals. It helps eliminate the mucus. So I break my fast with herbal tea. Then I'll say probably an hour later, I might eat some fruit maybe like a uh, cantaloupe that's my go-to i love cantaloupe so i might eat like a cantaloupe but you could have like a fruit or a small salad you don't really want to have like heavy meals right after your fast um your fast day you don't really want to have heavy meals you want to keep it light um now can you do how long can you do dry fasting well, that's really totally up to you and your mindset and the time that you possibly have. If you believe that you can do a dry fast for two to three days, if you want to challenge yourself to do that, I highly recommend that you don't do anything strenuous as far as workouts um, and make sure you have the time to really just rest and relax and, and really embrace your fast fully. Um, the world is it's crazy because it was like a world record of a guy doing a dry fast for 18 days. So no foods and no drinks. And believe it or not, you can really fast for a while. You can eat minimum and literally don't eat for like a day or two. And you can keep that up daily. The misconception is that we need to have three meals a day. And that's not really true. You know, you should eat when your body tells you to eat. And intermittent fasting is a great tool as well to have in your life. So on that point, if you can't really do a dry fast, 
for at least 24 hours, what other options do you have? Well, you can do an intermittent dry fast, which I do daily. And I actually practice intermittent dry fasting in my daily life. And I'll talk more about that in another video. But that's when you basically limit how much you eat during that day so you might eat for an eight hour window and thereafter you won't eat or drink anything until the following day so you might eat for eight hours and dry fast for like 16 hours or you might eat for 10 hours and dry fast for 14 hours so that's uh intermittent dry fasting you can also do a water fast when you can say okay for 24 hours i won't eat anything but i'll drink water um or herbal tea all day um, and you know, those are the two fasts that I recommend that you try if you want to try something similar to a dry fast when you're not eating any physical foods. All right, guys. Well, I hope this video have helped you. I hope this video was informative to you and to your higher self. Um, I'm going to start a spiritual series on my channel just to let you see my spirituality and how I do things you know and it's just really me coming from a real space you know I have always been in my spiritual lifestyle my spiritual mindset I just haven't really been showing it too much to you know the world or on my YouTube channel just because it's something that I heard hold personally to me you know sometimes we can't give everybody all of us sometimes we have to keep things to ourselves but I don't mind showing and sharing certain aspects of my spiritual world with you guys because it can always help you especially if you're transitioning or you're going on your own spiritual path and let me tell you right now it's nothing weird at all with you identifying and becoming your higher self so don't let anyone tell you that okay all right guys well it's your girl crystal dior peace love and light until next time happy 2020